My name is Amber Goldberg. We had a young lady that had applied for a personal banker position and she didn't have a lot of experience in the banking industry, but she had a great attitude and we had so much fun in the interview and I knew she would just be a great part of the team. So we brought her on board and she excelled in the position. She did such a phenomenal job. She ended up becoming a teller supervisor where she was able to um, take what she had been taught and she was able to coach other individuals while being still coached. It was great to be able to see her succeed and to be able to help other individuals in their career in advance. And now she is another branch manager where she's continuing to excel in that position. So I learned that sometimes you just need to go with your gut and take a chance. Um, it warms my heart just knowing the impact that she has made on the number of people that she has now coached um, as a result of putting her into that position. I focus on the areas that I know I truly want to make an impact and that are important to me and I want to set a good example for my children. Um, I want them to know that even though that you're working full-time and that you're a mom that you still have time to be able to help others. My name is Bethany Marcotte. In the last couple years I work with a college student and she was working in Excel programming and I was able to provide her different formulas and different ways of using the tool to best help her project. And the following summer she returned for a summer help again and I had the pleasure of having her assigned to me and together we created different Excel courses to teach all four of our locations and so we developed six different series from beginner Excel to very advanced Excel. She went from helping me to actually leading all of the classes. So she was in front of the class, directing everybody, giving them the formulas, giving them insight. And I took on a role of just assisting her, assisting the class. She also then created all six classes for e-learning so that they're an on-demand course and anybody here at any time can access the classes. So that was such an amazing experience. I was so proud watching her excel and her be sparked. The more she learned, the more excited she was to continue learning. My name is Margie Starr. I think we have a common perception that leaders are the women who are sitting at the table raising their hands and with the loudest voices. And I actually, those, are, those women are leaders, but I actually think that to have a vital organization, it's imperative that we identify women and ask them to come to the table and lead with us. One of the best examples I have of this is through my work with Impact 100 Greater Wausau, where we invite women to evaluate grant proposals that have been submitted to us by nonprofits in the area. And often women don't really feel equipped to do this because they, they haven't evaluated proposals or they don't feel like they're knowledgeable about the issues. But what we say is, you can become knowledgeable about the issues. And in fact, you will feel more hopeful about the solutions to those challenges if you do come to the table and if you lend your voice and if you lend your perspective and help us find the solutions that are the best for our community. I think we all have the potential to be leaders in us and that I think it's really incumbent upon those of us who've been identified as leaders to help mentor the next generation of women leaders. Women just don't have the confidence because nobody's ever told them that they have the potential to lead. And so I think the more that those of us who work with women can say, I see that you are incredibly organized, or I see that you have a great passion for engaging in acts of appreciation. Let's bring you to the table and you can be the leader for Teacher Appreciation Week. Helping women identify those qualities in themselves, I think is something that's really important. My name is Tammy Stazensky, the publisher and editor of City Pages for 27, 27 years, and we had a lot of women working for us. In fact, there were times where we'd have to say, geez, we need to hire a guy. <laughs> and, um, but some of the, the women who, um, who worked for me have gone on to, to, do, um, to do great things. You find people's strengths, and you just open up the space for them to do what they need to do, give them the opportunities. To grow. We've had people um, from City Pages who've gone on to become county board members, city council, city council members. Um, uh, we've had um, uh, some uh, some employees who've gone on to become editors. You know, throughout the years, I've done lots of workshops of, um, with um, talking about entrepreneurship, leading workshops in helping nonprofits. To
tell their tell their story um, because that's that's one of the, the biggest things is I always say that it doesn't matter what you do if you can't sell it or you can't communicate it and um, and that's one thing that I've always tried to do not only with with the events that maybe I've I've you know created or you know help help found but also now now support is telling telling those stories I think communicating is um, is one of the biggest things that um, that contributes to success of any of any um, endeavor, really.